How's the uh, mood within the squad after the opening weekend? Uh, as you'd expect, very happy and uh, buzzing at the moment. Um, first day we came in, I think it was Monday, we, uh, the lads were just still on a high from it, which was as you'd expect from that. What kind of message does that send about what kind of team Kelly are going to be this season? I just think we'll fight to the end. We've got a lot of determination, we've got a good, good depth in our squad, especially lads coming back from injury. And I think we'll just, at home and away, we'll give everything we can. What's the manager's message been to the players this week? Well, after the game, it was enjoy it, obviously, but for the game, like, we just we set out to want to beat the big teams and the, the old firm, and hope, well, luckily for us, we did it in the first game, but we can't stop there. We've got to keep pushing, and big game on Saturday, and we, we build each week for those sorts of games. The manager's put in a lot of, in, a lot in place in terms of recruitment, a lot of players brought in. Just tell us about the, the feel within the squad at the moment, how well everyone's gelling, and how much everyone's you know, motivated together to... To win. Well, everyone's motivated to, motivated to win, obviously, because we're in this sport for a reason. But um, now we've all gelled well. We um, we had a few weeks, obviously, of pre-season. Um, uh, luckily for like lads like me coming in new, didn't really know anyone up here. But um, the lads are great, and they've they've helped everyone settle in, like me. So. I suppose there's no point beating Rangers if you don't go back up this week. Is that the sort of message that coming up to this weekend? Another tough game, of course. Yeah, obviously another tough game. Uh, you know what the stadium's like there, the crowd. So it is, it is a big game, but for us, it's just focus on ourselves, get our, do our job, and work hard at what we're doing. And the, the weekend comes, and we we do our best for it. Obviously, just coming up to Scotland, one of the biggest games you'll play is here against Rangers. Deservedly winning that game. Were, were you surprised by by the level of the opposition, by the level of yourselves? Were you surprised by that? Or is that what you expected, that what you, you thought you could do when you arrived at the club? Uh, yeah, of course. Like, we, we don't go into games thinking we're going to sit back and just let the, the better teams take control of us. We go in there with a mentality that we can beat anyone. And <laughs> so right, we come here and we they come to a tough place. So it's a fortress with the fans that we've got. You saw them on Saturday. They turn up in numbers and they boosted us, especially for that 90 minutes plus at the time and got us over the line. When we were speaking to the manager in pre-season, he said the two things that he wanted to address this year were getting points off the old firm, you've done that in your first game, and the other thing was improving the away form, last season he had said it wasn't good enough and obviously you have an opportunity to do it this weekend. Do you now go into this game perhaps expecting to win more than you did seven days ago because of last week's result? Are you confident you can go there? And it's a fresh start. New season. Your away form can be much better than it was in the previous campaign. Of course, like we, we work on things every week for n numerous things, like get different games, different teams, and the way they play. But going to a different different team doesn't change how we want to play. We we go the same mentality of wanting to win and come away with something. And I'm sure we'll do that and give our best shot for that. Ronnie was just asking there about. The message it sends beating Rangers in the opening game. What what message would it send if you've won your first two games at home to Rangers and away to Hearts? What would that say to the rest of the league? Again, like we concentrate on ourselves, but hopefully teams will know that if they come here, it'll be a tough tough place to come, and we we won't just fold when we go away to away games. So we'll give our best for everything. You said you weren't surprised with the level of opposition when you came up against Rangers, but were you surprised that you had so little to do in the game? Were you expecting a few uh, more shots from Rangers? Well, obviously, you expect more shots, but I think they they had the opportunities. But we defended really well as a team. Like the, the I would just say the back the back three five, whatever we want to say. But um, from the strike all the way back to to myself, we just we were a team and we stuck together. And we if someone messed up, someone was there to dig out. But you, you, we stuck there as a team, and it, was, <laughs> it makes it look a little bit easier. Than it was, but it, it was a tough tough day. Yeah. When the old firm was points here. Lose points at Livingston. There's always discussion around the pitch and the afterturf surface here. Do you think that's sometimes a little bit cheap and takes away from the fact that it was such a, a good performance in themselves? Uh, it is like a tough place to come, but you got to deal with it. Like we go away to other grounds and it's grass, and we we train here every day on astroturf. But it is it is what it is. It's a, a, it's a mentality thing at the end of the day. And if you turn up with the wrong mentality, then teams will sniff it out and they they can smell the the fear in a way. And, same goes the other way as well, really. The away games, grass, but you, you can't go into games with fear, thinking of the pitch, the fans, how it's going to be. You just go in with a bit of excitement and determination. Lone move, another one for yourself. Michael Marlock. 
<laughs> just um, I heard good things. A, f- a few lads from um, Bournemouth have been up here on loan. Um, I know Zeno and Rossi was here, and we, we, I was at digs with uh, with him as well. And we used to sit back there and watch his games on TV. Uh, so I knew this was a nice family orientated club, and um, I knew it was a, a good, good place to come. I jumped at the chance. Yeah, there's been two goalkeepers in particular I want to talk to you about. At Bournemouth, Aaron Ramsdale, of course, now at Arsenal, and Arthur Boric, who spent a number of years here at Celtic. What have they done for your career? Uh, they've been brilliant. Obviously, you learn a lot, especially me when I was younger. You've got um, Arthur Boric, Asmir, a few of the big big names in football uh, for goalies, and um, just different different types of goalies individually, and you take a little bit from each game. Obviously, Ramsdale being a couple of years older than me, I'd be just learn, take, just take parts from the game, and obviously seeing where he is now, it just motivates you to push to get to where you think you can or where you know you can get to in the future. Did you speak to Boric about taking this move to come to Scotland? <laughs> no, I didn't, no. No, I thought I'd leave that one out. <laughs>